It has been nearly a month since House Speaker John Boehner announced his departure. This morning I informed my colleagues that uh, I would resign from the speakership and resign from Congress at the end of October. No successor has been identified, much less chosen. Congressman Paul Ryan, the 2012 Republican vice presidential nominee, continues to resist intense pressure from party elders to seek the post. A leadership vacuum could force Boehner to postpone his retirement and lead a fractured Republican caucus as momentous deadlines loom. Last week, the Treasury Department informed Boehner the U.S. government risks running out of funds by November 3rd unless the federal borrowing limit is increased. It would put the United States at real risk of, for the very first time in our history, not being able to pay our bills. Many Republicans, especially those running for higher office, are reluctant to raise the debt ceiling absent reforms to improve America's fiscal health. So we have a $19 trillion debt. The reason why that's a problem is we only have an $18 trillion economy. President Barack Obama has ruled out negotiations over the borrowing limit, arguing it is Congress's duty to avoid a catastrophic U.S. debt default. Increasing the debt limit does not authorize any new spending. It simply allows the Treasury to pay for expenditures that Congress themselves uh, already uh, have approved. In addition to the debt ceiling deadline, Congress has until December 11th to extend the U.S. government spending authority or risk another partial federal shutdown. Discussions between the White House and congressional leaders are reportedly progressing on a longer-term spending deal, but until a new House speaker is chosen, it is not clear who would see the deal to fruition or bring it up for a vote. Michael Bowman, VOA News, Washington.